So if you are wondering what is the difference between DDR5 and DDR4, well then you come to the right place because in this video I'm going to talk about what are the difference between DDR4 and DDR5 and what is DDR5. Hey guys, this is Akash and in this channel I make tech contents and upload daily. So if that sounds uh, good to you, then don't forget to subscribe. So let's uh, start with the topic. Well, before talking about DDR5, let's talk about what DDR stands for. Well, it stands for dual data rate. Now, to explain dual data rate, I have to make a separate video and why uh, RAM companies or why right now uh, people use, manufacturers use uh, DDR as the standard. But let's move on to the topic. What are the difference between DDR4 and DDR5? Well, the first difference between DDR4 and DDR5 is the speed. Right now, most of the DDR4 RAM or the standard speed of DDR4 RAM is 26,000 megahertz. And the standard speed for DDR5 is going to be 64 thousand megahertz so this is a quite significant jump now some of you guys may say that well we can buy a 4000 megahertz ram right now well i agree with you because i am using a 36000 megahertz ram well yes you can buy and definitely manufacturers are going to make much more speedier ram uh, some manufacturers are even planning to make uh, their ram as speedy as 84000 and also you can overclock your ram now with every single generational improvement there comes a die shrink and in this case we also have a die shrink and it has a bunch of benefits first is uh, uh the power consumption uh the ddr4 uh, most of the ddr4 rams are on 1.2 volts but the ddr5 ram will be uh, running on 1.1 volt now on a uh, base level it doesn't sounds a much of an improvement and if you are using a uh, high-end pc well then it will not that much of a significant improvement but where you will see the improvement in the mobile space if you're using a laptop a low-end laptop or a low-powered laptop then you will see a, a quite i'm not I don't want to say significant but yes there will be some difference definitely and the biggest thing is that if you can get a little bit juice out of your laptop to do some more work well it doesn't hurt anybody now the second thing is going to be the storage or the density now the max capacity or the max uh, storage that a ddr4 ram can go it's 32 uh, 32 gigabytes but with DDR5, the goal is to make a, a single stack as much as 128 gigabytes. And this uh, max capacity boost will uh, like will improve a bunch of things first thing is that now you can buy a 30 a 64 gigabytes of ram that means you can add more ram to your system and the second thing if you compare a storage to storage uh, price uh, comparison if you do a storage to storage price comparison then uh, the ddr5 ram will be much more uh, cheaper because if you make a die which has like more uh, storage it will cost a little bit lesser for the manual manufacturer and the whole manufacturing is uh, there are a bunch of things involved so i'm not getting into that next the biggest improvement which i think and that is now you can use a single ram stick as a dual channel configuration now what do i mean by that well na right now most almost every single like every single ddr4 ram operate as a single channel on a single stick that means if you add two stick into your system two ram sticks into your system then it will operate as a dual channel and if your system supports quote channel memory then you can add four uh, rams into different or the allocated uh, dim slot then you will have a quad channel memory and you can see quad channel configuration in http uh, pcs uh, or http uh, cpus or um, what do i say like http uh, what like what's that word um okay you got the point right uh, that that means uh, most of the thread dipper or all of the thread dipper have has quad channel ram support and also intel extreme lineup also have quad channel memory support now uh, now come to the ddr5 now that means in a single stick there are going to be two uh, spaces 
and you can use each space as a single channel and that's where you can use a single stick to dual channel now uh, I said spaces just to make this video or this explanation simpler I use that word so don't troll me or roast me on the comment section now on to the biggest question of all when are we going to see ddr5 ram well uh first thing first you will not see uh ddr5 ram right away in the consumer space mostly you will see ddr5 ram in the hardware uh server space because that's how uh this industry works most of the hardware improvement or most of the generational improvement whether it's a cpu gpu most of the manufacturer uh first make it for a server market like just think about new nvidia 3000 cpus the turing architecture was already out or ampere architecture sorry today is a very hectic i'm forgetting everything but the ampere architecture was already out for server space right now like right now we haven't got uh, the uh, ampere architecture gps on our hand at uh, nvidia just announced those so this same thing also going to happen with the rams that we will first see on those uh, we will first see those uh, rams in the server space then we will see those rams in our normal consumer space now when it will hit the market well i think it uh in server space we will see ram uh ddr5 rams probably early next year or mid next year i'm not sure about that but uh the ddr5 adaptation in consumer space i think we will uh see it on early 2022 or uh, uh late uh, early 2022 to late 2022 because uh, most uh, the next generation AMD and uh, Intel CPUs aren't supporting DDR5 as well and also the DDR5 uh, con uh, configuration of the DDR5 uh, RAM will be standardized I think probably in late 2023 like most of the statistics are saying that it will be uh, uh, like standardized uh, in 2023 so I'm also hoping uh, for that so uh if you are watching this video in 2023 let me know you if you are using a ddr5 ram or not or uh you are thinking to buy a ddr5 ram stick for your system but this is it for this video hope you liked it if you liked it hit the like button if you don't leave a dislike that was for me and if you have any queries any question comment down in the comment section let's have a chat have a conversation down there and if you want to watch more videos you can check this video right here and if you want to subscribe well haven't you seen this button <laughs> just press it or you can do it by here also and this is Akash and I will see you guys in the next one peace